Oh, he's here, he's here. Okay, since we've got everyone, uh, we'll give the audience a couple of uh, minutes to type in their questions for the champions or the goal initiative as a whole. In the meantime, I do have some questions prepared because this is my talk and rules don't apply to me and I can do whatever I want. So my first question, and that, that will be to, to everyone, so jump in as, as you wish, is, well, uh, we should be announcing new goals by now, but uh, due to the pandemic, we decided to extend the current round for for a, for a, for a longer period. What are your opinions about uh, this move? Who would like to go first? Well, my impression, if you wish, is that while it does make sense to keep refreshing them, like they're all topics that could last forever virtually, um, even the uh, first run of goals, like we could still be doing them and it's things that are never over, uh, at least most of them. Um, it's useful to have continued. I don't think that it would have, the world would have ended if we had stopped, but it's good. We're here. It's all nice and happy, right? So, <laughs> of course, anyone else? Well, goals are also great to uh, introduce new community members or highlight their, their work or their focus. So it's, it's nice to have, uh, Renew new people basically so that the community just can maintain and grow. So that's one of the aspects of the goals. Yeah, well, and also from an organizational perspective, um, the past one and a half years has been pretty weird and tough on people. Um, and since we really need to take care of our people taking out some of the pressure of, oh my God, they have to race to the finish line, um, I think was pretty useful. Yeah, for me, the thing is, I would like to do at least one in-person sprint for consistency. If we don't get to do it, well, we tried, but uh, since there's time now, I think that's a goal that should, you sh we should have. Okay, thank you all very much for the answer. Um, I have a second question prepared. Uh, imagine that you can clone yourself and additionally work for a completely different goal. What would it be? Touch the screen. Sorry, what was it? Touch screen support. Ah, touch screen, okay. That would be my... It was actually in the proposed goals and I think I voted it just after consistency. Unluckily, it didn't get picked. Incidentally, I already cloned myself and I've been working on the Wayland goal during my professional time, so... Yay. I do agree, though, that there's other stuff that could be interesting, like, for example, in the hardware integration front, making uh, something that was part of the goals that wasn't picked up last time was Plasma Mobile in itself, which we've seen growing more and more, something along those lines. I think that would definitely be uh, an interesting topic to have for the next run of goals, for sure and something we could start working on right now as well, or we are already, right? Um, myself, I would join in consistency or all about the apps, or I'm quite interested in apps as well in, in, in framework, so I would be, it would, well, I would jump in, 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 I could jump in, in any goal, almost. <laughs> Okay, Lydia, you're not working on a goal, a specific goal, but uh, if you could clone yourself and use the additional work hours, what would it be? Um, someone uh, was uh, asking Alish earlier today about 
making it easier to work on our apps for developers. And that sounded pretty cool, even though not part of the current app goal, but could be one of the next ones. And if you want to talk about the next ones, you should totally come to the buff where we discuss those. <laughs> Yes, perfect advertising for the both later this week. We'll be talking about the process of selecting the new goals. Correct. I see one question already uh, being submitted. So this is about the Wayland and all about the apps goals. Any interest views on supporting WSL2, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux, especially now that Microsoft is working on Wayland integration? Um, having support for native, running our applications natively on Windows, it sounds like it would be weird to go through their uh, Linux layer. It might just as well be that their abstraction of Linux is better than Qt's abstractions of Windows. So maybe it's just a technical decision rather than a social or business decision kind of thing. Uh, in practice, I think that it's a matter of whatever is easiest for the users to use if you have to. And I personally, I am super ignorant on the topic. I haven't touched Windows in years, uh, so to speak. But if for a user, it's easier to adopt our own, one of our applications by, by uh, using Linux. Maybe that should be the case, but I cannot doubt that this will be the case. So I don't know. In any case, trade above, hashtag. Raven, do you want to add anything? Yeah, so, well, I just said it well. Like, like for our apps are already, uh, most of our apps are already uh, cross platform. So or at least uh, to some sense, to some degree. So rather than trying to put uh, to so th this way is just as easy and maybe more direct and efficient in the end maybe. okay um we have a next question coming from david and this is for every uh, gold champion how much did being an elected gold drive the progress forward maybe let's start with nicola yeah, it surely helped to a certain extent. To a certain extent, because uh, the idea of consistency and revamping the look of Plasma was already in the air pretty much, even before the goal was selected. But giving it an actual infrastructure with chats and goal, like uh, sub goals uh, written down, it surely helped much. Okay, Maven, maybe you next. Yeah, uh, well, uh, uh, at the personal level, it, it allowed me to jump into the subject more heavily because I wasn't uh, a queen contributor before. And, and thanks to the goal, uh, I was right in it. Or I, I had really strong motivation to jump in. And, and uh, the, the, the drive, while well, the exposure was, was really beneficial, and we had a virtual sprint was, that was very successful as well. I hope uh, we raised interest in the users as well through blog posts and, and, and such. So uh, I'm not too sure, but uh, uh, it definitely uh, helped uh, gather developer interest as well. So we had uh, a lot more, I think, here and there, a lot of more uh, developers testing and then improving their apps or are uh, scratching their own each on on the well on session and 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 that's one of the benef fish fish uh, benefit of uh, the goal the well on goal for sure okay and Alesh, you have a fresh perspective as a new gold champion here what, what do you think i don't think my feedback is very useful here i just started and I don't know, not a lot has happened yet with me in this position, so. 
I'm gonna okay. pass on that one. <laughs> of course, understandable. Uh, I have a question from Johan. If you could spend the KDEV money, what would you spend it on for your goal or for other goals? I'm going to go ahead and change hats and wear suddenly my KDV president hat and say, we already tried to give some money to the goals to spend some, and they didn't. So I guess that the only true question is that spending money is a delicate, a very delicate topic and something that people doing goals are and generally comfortable with doing. So if somebody wants to spend KDV money, what they should be doing is getting involved with the KDV directly rather than going through the goals because this hasn't worked in the past. Yeah, I remember when it was proposed and I thought about it for like some weeks, I asked around, but I could not figure figure out anything practically useful to spend the money in. Well, I mean, there's always things that could be done, right? But it's also very easy to feel like you're wasting the money. Us, as community members, what we're used is to coordinate with people rather than with resources. So let's just focus to what we do best and we know how to do, right? Maybe you wanted to say something as well? Well, I can't, I can't wait to have the restriction, the travel restriction lifted because that's, that's what's the most efficient way to spend well the money for our goals is to allow participants to meet. And it's just a very important part of the KDEV mission as well. So, well, because the question you schooled, so it's not further, it's just that it's not normal this year. So. Uh, can't wait to. Well, next goals won't have these issues. Uh, I hope. Of course, Lydia, what do you think? Yeah, I wanted to add. Um, the goal champions are there to, among other things, have ideas how to spend this money. But they're definitely not the only ones. Just like they're not the only ones working on the goals. So if anyone has meaningful ideas um, that would contribute to those goals and where the blocker is money and not people's interest or time or stuff like that, please get in touch with the Go Champions and uh, suggest that. Um, yeah, Lydia, so, so just to reiterate, anyone who is interested in moving a goal forward, doesn't have to be the Gold Champion, can propose a way to spend some EV money to, to do some cool stuff. With the with the goal, is that correct? That is correct. I mean, we obviously have to look at the specific ideas if they make sense for the goal champions and are uh, something we can pay for as um, a nonprofit and so on. But in general, yes, uh, absolutely. Please do come up with ideas and talk to people. Okay. So uh, the kind of things that I remember that were floated when we did have this budget were like well we had the usability goal for example so having a usability um study done on some of the products would it be useful would it not um spending some money there could have made sense right this is something that was discussed and in a parallel universe happened in our lovely universe full of pandemics didn't um there's like similar stuff like we also had the privacy one uh doing security and analysis of, of our software see if there's some kind of, of leakage of some sort this could be possible this is something that you could uh hire somebody or a firm to do but never did because uh well people who are in charge didn't feel like these things were worth the amount of money, which by the way, it's always big amounts of money when you have to actually 
hire somebody to work for a few months or even a consultancy, which are well, generally expensive, right? Yeah, of course. Um, I don't see new questions in the widget yet, um, but uh, just a reminder, you can also address the questions to specific goal champions. So, for example, if your question was skipped during their uh, talks, you can use this occasion to uh, re-ask it. But I do have some questions of my own uh, as well. And this one is specifically for Nicolo. And uh, you have switched over from blogs to videos recently. How do you think this changed your way of interacting with, with the community and, and the goal? Well, first of all, my blog post did not have comment sections, and that was a big, big mistake, because now that I do videos and I get so many YouTube comments, and that's really nice, because I actually see what people think and what issues people have with a certain project or design or stuff like that. So that was a big thumbs up. And then there was also the thing that people are more likely to watch your videos, even uh, more videos um, like over time. If you do one blog post, it's hard for a person to like subscribe to your RSS feed, whereas on YouTube, it's likely that YouTube will uh, suggest my videos to people when I publish them, even if they don't subscribe to me. So it's easier to reach um, new users. And that's also helpful to have a wider audience. And regarding this, I have a talk tomorrow at, uh, I don't remember if 8 or 10 UTC regarding uh, my experience in the doing videos for KD. OK, looking forward to, to seeing that. Um, OK, and speaking of, of blogs, maybe a question Lydia can help answer. And this is a leading question, so be prepared. If someone would be interested in the goals, not a specific goal, just what's happening in the goals. Lydia, do you know a way how someone could read up on the updates? Hmm. <laughs> Since not too long ago, there is this dude who is blogging every now and then about a general update uh, to KE goals. I think his name is Adam, and I think that blog post is showing up on planetkde.org even. Is that, does that sound right to you? Yeah, I think that's a perfect answer to this uh, prepared question. <laughs> so maybe someone in the chat can link the blog. Uh, whoever does it first uh, gets 10 points. The points don't matter. Um, OK, I don't see any questions coming up in the, in the widget yet. So maybe we can use this occasion to go through whatever other tags or um, buffs you have related to your goals in the coming week. We already talked about Alish's ones. Uh, there is a couple of them regarding the app's uh, goals. And also, there's the one that, uh, that Lydia mentioned, uh, which is about selecting the next goals later on. Uh, Maven, Nicola, do you have any buffs that people should be aware of that we didn't mention yet? As I mentioned at the end of my consistency talk, I haven't yet set them up, but I will do them. I will do that shortly. Okay. Yeah, and, and well, it was already mentioned. David uh, Edmondson on uh, has a buff uh, around uh, has a talk to tomorrow, and Vlad is trying to find a, a slot for his buff for Queen as well. So I can recommend those ones. OK. And uh, questions are coming in. So uh, since we see KDE-oriented devices being released, are there any queries or interests from corporates to support or sponsor a KDE goal? Is that open for corporate, or is it just a community uh, exercise?
Who wants to take that one? Well, you um, want to or should I? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I could answer, but then I realized that I am here as the apps goal person, so you answer. OK, uh, so far this hasn't come up. Um, but the idea of the goals process isn't that someone goes and sets the agenda for KDE's community by money, right? But the idea is that we as a group go through a process that helps us uh, figure out what's most important right now, um, which is kind of in conflict with uh, the, the idea of buying a goal. <laughs> Um, however, if there is an organization uh, that would put in work and people behind a goal, um, please do suggest that. Um, see if you can rally up um, interest uh, from the community um, to, to get it voted in as a goal and, and get people behind it. And if not, um, the goals process isn't the only way how to do things in KDE, right? <laughs> there are many other uh, things happening in, in KDE that do not have anything to do with the goals. They obviously shouldn't work uh, against the goals. <laughs> um, there's more happening there. OK, anyone else wants to add anything? OK, let's move on. Uh, what are your thoughts on goals related to spreading KDE culture by improvising resources, teaching materials, jotting down their history, and creating a literature of KDE? We did have an onboarding goal, right? That was almost entirely exactly that. Yeah, um, but we could give that whole topic another angle and the person who is interested in that should totally come to the buff where we talk about yeah. upcoming goals um, and suggest it. By the way, when you say improv uh, improvising resource, improving, I guess, in resources, teaching materials and so on, I guess something related could be wiki to learn or something like that. Maybe it it could be part of the question to work on improving that one, maybe. I don't know much about the project, but I know it's within the KDE umbrella. OK. Uh, Albert asks, what are you, uh, what's your feeling about goals, working on convincing other people to join the goal efforts? or you feel it's only people that were already interested in the goal working on it? I think that the reason to have a goal is to have other people working with you. Otherwise, it's things that you could be doing on your own anyway. Um, we all have our own goals, personal own goals. Um, last night I fixed the bug, right? Did I make it a kitty goal? No, I just made a merge request. Um, what we do with the KDE goals is to uh, tell the community at large, please join us and let's work together on these topics. So in itself, actually, the very reason why we're having this presentation is not because we are so cool. It's because join us because we are so cool, right? Um, if you're listening to the presentation we just had and, and thought, look at these people, they're very cute and they're doing very useful work, thanks. I think that we probably even missed the point because the point wasn't look at the cool work we've done, the point was come do cool work with us, right? Also, if not making people join us. I think it's very important for uh, KD contributors to respect the goals. So when you go to, as an example, to a maintainer saying, uh, I know you want to do this, but please discuss without this change because it breaks consist consistency. As an example, the maintainer does respect the goal and say, okay, let's discuss it together. 
And that's mostly why when I read messages like, ah, yeah, if you think consistency is important, make this merge request, I get sad because why if you think consistency is important? Like it's a goal. So yeah. Okay. Um, I have a question from Benson. I'll try to rephrase it a bit. Um, he's asking about getting user feedback back to the goal champions, but also by, uh, you know, when people are concerned about their privacy, so you don't get that feedback in a way that would violate that. So what's the, what's the best way to, to do that? Um, I think that this is quite unrelated to these goals, at least. But since I did a lot of the user feedback uh, work, I can reply that the, whoever did this question is wrong because the premise is wrong. Uh, it has all been designed with privacy in mind, and we're not doing it, anything uh, to je jeopardize the privacy of our users, if, if that's your understanding. Well, this is something that we would have to discuss, or maybe you could look at how it's implemented. But I would please ask you not to spread uh, misinformation like that. Yeah, telemetry doesn't imply uh, privacy infringement. It's just a way of other companies do, and we are not a company. We are an open source community, so so those two don't relate. You cannot do expect the same things from different things. So here we... And well, we see privacy it's all disabled by important. default. Whoever is sending information yeah. about their usage of Plasma, even if it's an anonymized uh, use data, it's because they accepted it. So there's no privacy concern there. Yeah, it seems like the person who asked the question wasn't referring to that, but uh, was asking that, uh, like, uh, he said, I understand the plan, but I asked if it's working. So this is uh, regarding Albert's question about uh, people joining the goal. Okay, so I misread. Never mind. Yeah. Um, by the way, sorry if I'm uh, rephrasing any of those questions wrong. Uh, correct me in the chat and we'll, we'll deal with it. Um, yeah, we so can go to Albert's question and says, so like, do you think it's working to get other people involved with the goals at this point? Well, I think that for consistency, people who are interesting to be part of it are already part of it. So what I'm looking for, what uh, what I'm looking for right now is mostly the respect for from other KDE contributors, so that when I go to maintainers, they actually like uh, collaborate with us. I think that when we do things, people respond, right? Um, but not all goals are always active uh, or as active as they could be. Everything can be done better. Uh, and I'm sure that all of us are doing the best we can, but all of us, we could do uh, better as well. Um, if there's other things that could be done, this is something that if somebody wants to help, this is something that uh, probably should be done, right? because it would mean that we would get more people uh, caring about the same things and uniting forces, which is always interesting, right? Yeah. Um, OK, another question from me. And the context here is that I'll be, I'll be trying to describe the goal champion role to have it officially written somewhere, because we don't have, it, have that yet. And uh, my personal idea of a perfect goal champion is one that doesn't do any work on the goal itself. I mean, by writing code or closing bugs, etc. cetera. Uh, a, perf a perfect goal champion would just be the facilitator or you know, the head person to, to rally up the community 
to work on the goal. What do you think about that concept? Well, what you are describing is like a, almost like a manager, basically, or a coordinator. So a big part of, open, of, uh, of our community is that uh, people do mostly what they want to do. So if there are some people that are great at doing th those things, but there are not many, that many or that want to be involved in such goal or, or another. So it's, and on the other hand, people, it's really hard to, to use this kind of role when you are not like this yourself or when you are not uh, willing to, to put all your focus in uh, this direction. So it's kind of uh, ideal for sure, uh, I, I would agree, but, but it's really hard to reproduce in the open source community. I, I think as well. I think that we need to remember that we're all people and for the most part also doing this uh, thing in our free time. So this means that people should just be comfortable with the role they, they take on, on, on the project. So sometimes being a project manager can be the thing that you end up needing, but that doesn't necessarily be the case. And what comes to mind is the case of Nate when he joined the, the goals. Not only like he started doing the goal, but I think that he was mostly unknown to everyone in the community. And while he didn't really play that uh, project manager role itself, he used the spotlight that the Kitty Goal gave him to, well, a bit like Nicolo said, to go to the different teams and saying, I'm that guy and you listen to me because of that, but also, well, for doing his uh, blogs, which have been and continue being super uh, successful. So I think that the goal itself is an opportunity to um, give a, a bit of a spotlight and uh, reason to be for, for the different people and what it's goal leader uh, decides to do with, with that spotlight is, well, their prerogative. Also, all of the projects are very different, right? Like what he needed to do and what he had to do, Nate, was very different from what, for example, the onboarding goal had to do, which was more of a talking to different people kind of things and seeing exactly which uh, bits of information were necessary, whereas the usability uh, goal was uh, spread much thinner uh, over, well, a lot more places, including very complex code bases, right? Yeah. Um, people have been um, calling it the project manager or similar position. I see it a bit different, um, more in the direction of a cheerleader um, who helps others understand and get excited about whatever the goal is. Um, and since all of us have limited time in a day, I think it is a very good idea for the goal champion or someone very close to that person to be that cheerleader and um, get more people involved because that's the way to get significantly more done um, as opposed to just putting all the work on one person for the goal because all the goals we have selected so far all six of them were much 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 more work than any single person could and should be doing um, yeah. something that has always uh surprised me but it clearly is part of the very human nature is that people keep joining kd sending this email saying hello people what do i do and then we have to give them an answer. Uh, the goals do, do give us this answer. And the goal leader can be the person who helps that person have an answer. Um, my answer until the goals maybe was just find something that uh, worries you and, and fix it, right? But I can understand that this is probably too wishy-washy for uh, some people to turn this energy into something that they can just start doing on the next five minutes, right? Uh, having a goal, 
properly documented with tasks that they can uh, understand and and well they can relate to is probably easier than telling them just go to Bugzilla and find a crash and solve it because I mean there's literally hundreds of thousands of tickets over there uh, a lot of them that are non actionable so that doesn't help much okay thank you very much for the input I'll use all of it when I'll be describing the the gold champion role later on um, a different question uh, since there are people watching here that maybe now thinking about hey maybe I'm going to be the next gold champion I, I have a great idea I want to push it as a goal for the whole KD community as current champions what tip would you give to the to the person that is thinking about it right now Maybe to write a good detailed task description, because if you just like a paragraph and say, okay, that's it, you got my idea. Uh, that's not going to work. If you write down, I think we should this, 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 these issues, let me give pr practical examples. That's going to help you help uh, people understand what you mean. Yeah, in practice, it's a uh, like we're in this not so ideal position. We want to move into this idealistic wall of wonder and describe this this hero's path. That you, as the goal person who proposes it, you're gonna at the very least narrate. I think that this is a proper way of of looking at it. Like. If you wanted to say all of the icons should be blue, then you have to talk about how uncomfortable you are today about the icons being super colorful. And you want to live in a world where all of the icons are blue. And if people get excited by that, they're going to vote it. OK, thank you very much. I think we we are running out of time. so. Uh, any prospering future gold champions, check the schedule for the buff that will talk about the future goals. And uh, thank you very much, Lydia and the gold champions, for this uh, roundtable of uh, questions. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.